everyone in this presentation we will see about advanced behavioral modeling here we will cover event signals call events time and change events and at the end we will see sending and receiving events now event an event is something that happens during execution of a system lots of things happen at the same time and at the most unexpected times each event represents the specification of a significant occurrence that has a location in time and space in the context of state machine you use events to model the occurrence of a stimulus that can trigger a state transition events may include signals calls the passing of time or a change in the state events may be synchronous or asynchronous so modeling events is wrapped up in the modeling of processes and threads at an atm machine action is initiated by a user pressing a button to start a, trans a transaction in an autonomous robot an action is initiated by the robot bumping into an object in uml each thing that happens is modeled as an event the uml provides a graphical representation of an event as shown in this figure here the event is the off hook event this event changes the state from active to ideal events may be external or internal external events are those that pass between the system and its actors for example the pushing of a button or an interrupt from a collision sensor internal events are those that pass among the objects that lie inside the system an overflow exception is an example of an internal event in uml you can model four kinds of events and these are signals calls the passing of time and a change in state first we will see signals a signal represents a named object that is dispatched or thrown asynchronously by one object and then received that is caught by another exceptions are the most common kind of internal signal a signal may be sent as the action of a state transition in a state machine or the sending of a message in an interaction in uml you can model the relationship between an operation and the events that can send by using a dependency relationship stereotyped as sent in uml you model signals as stereotyped classes you can use a dependency stereotyped as sent to indicate that an operation sends a particular signal here the figure shows a dependency relationship between a signal and the class movement agent now the call events a call event represents the dispatch of an operation this event may trigger a state transition in a state machine a call event is in general synchronous this means that when an object invokes an operation on another object that has a state machine control process passes 
from the sender to the receiver. The transition is triggered by the event. The operation is completed. The receiver transitions to a new state and control returns to the server. Here the figure shows a change in state from manual to automatic after passing the signal called as start autopilot. Now time and change events. A time event is an event that represents the passage of time. In the UML, you model a time event by using the keyword after followed by some expression that evaluates to a period of time. A change event is an event that represents a change in state or the satisfaction of some condition. A change event is modeled by using the keyword when followed by some boolean expression. Here in this figure there are events called as when 11 49 pm and one more event is there is after 2 seconds. Now when the event after 2 seconds occur the state is changed from active to ideal. Now sending and receiving events. Signal events and call events involve at least two objects. The object that sends the signal or invokes the operation and the object to which the event is directed. Any instance of any class can send a signal or invoke an operation of a receiving object. If this is synchronous call event then the sender and the receiver are in meeting place that is rendezvous for duration of the operation. This means that the flow of control of the sender is put in lock step with the control of the receiver until the activity of the operation is carried out. If this is a signal then the sender and the receiver do not rendezvous. That is the sender dispatches the signal but does not wait for the response from the receiver. In the UML you model the call events that an object may receive as operations on the class of that object. The named signals that an object may receive can be modeled by naming them in an extra compartment of the active class. As shown in this figure, the active class is keypad manager with the extra compartment for signals and the signals are push button, power up and power down. That's the end of this presentation. Thank you.